Hey folks, so we've got Dark Eldar versus Tyranids. 1,500 points, and the mission is Cloak and Shadows. Alrighty, so on the Tyranid side, we've got tons of bugs, and it looks like we've got 10 Flesh Borers, and it's quite surprising just how many shots a Tyranid army can actually put out. It, it's quite surprising. This army is definitely a lot more shooty than assaulty, which kind of threw me off. I'm usually used to running up and getting just uh, assaulted by them. There's also uh, 10 Devourers, and we had four Warriors here with some um, various different weapons. Now, what's really cool about this army is uh, there's not just uh, the newer models. You're going to see some of the uh, much older models in here, too. Namely, with these Warriors, here's some of the uh, old-school 2nd Edition uh, Warriors, which is really neat to see. I love seeing some of the older stuff on the table. Always makes me excited. Um, we have some Hormagaunts down here to the right, and they're all set to go. They're being backed up by this massive Carnifex. Carnifex always uh, kind of have me worried a little bit just with how big they are and how much of a an ouch they can uh, cause in close combat. We have the HQ as a Hive Tyrant, so he's all set up with some Devourers and I think a Venom Cannon. On the far side, we had some Gene Stealers. Now, we had them on the board to, very, to begin with, but um, this changed up, and they actually infiltrated a little bit closer in. In reserve, there was a Lictor and a Red Terror, all set to uh, come in from reserve and just mess up my back line, so... On the Dark Eldar side, my uh, Reavers are sitting in the bushes there. They just have a Heat Lance. We've got 10 uh, Warriors with a Splinter Cannon in that Raider with a bright uh, Dark Lance. Sorry, same thing with this Raider and the Far Raider over there. This one has the uh, 10 guys with the uh, Splinter Cannon. Back here, we've got my Ravager with three... Dark Lances. I went with just the basics. I didn't put really any upgrades on anything except for the bikes. The bikes here have uh, Cluster Caltrops and Heat Lance. Uh, this group has uh, Cluster Caltrops and Heat Lance. The older Raiders here, those all have five um, uh, Warriors with a Blaster. And then the Far Venom up there on the left, that one has the uh, uh, Blasterborn and uh Dracon, and then in the back here, uh, we've got the Lamian in her Venom. So, we're all set to go. So, the Tyranids managed to seize the initiative and start to skitter across the board, uh, working towards some of the various different objectives. Um, when it came to the objectives, it was uh, pretty obvious that right at the beginning there, he needed Objective 5. So, I did get a few shots taken on me, mostly causing my units to jink. My turn, I started to move up and uh, press the attack. My objectives weren't exactly uh, very attainable because some of the things were way deep in his uh, uh, field, but I did manage to kill off almost all the gene stealers there while he just kind of sat on the objective. I should have focused more fire on them just to finally wipe them out, but I just didn't have enough shots. Put a few shots into some of the um, gaunts up there. So the Tyranids did move up, and I did lose one of my Reaver squads, the one at the very bottom of the uh, pack there, and uh, he did kind of move around and try and secure a lot of the different objectives to gain a few points as uh, as the game kind of progressed. I did take a few shots, mostly just resulting in uh, jinking and uh, no real serious damage as of yet. So with the Lictor and the um, Red Terror coming in, I did focus a lot of shooting onto them to, to basically take them off the board. Moved up a little bit, and there was an assault there. I tried to get into the um, Gene Stealers, but I only got a, a three. That was painful. <laughs> no, so close. And I had an objective to wipe them out in close combat. So that's where the uh, Red Terror came in, and I managed to kill them off. The bugs are getting a little bit closer than I'd like, and that's where the um, uh, Lictor came in, and I managed to kill him. Uh, did focus a lot of firing into the Carnifex and killed him off. But maybe I should have put a little bit more into the Gene Steers just to get them out of the way and off that objective. Received a lot of shots back from the Tyranids, and they did force my vehicles to jink, and I did lose a few hull points here and there. So that was uh, something that happened. Um, continuing to move up on my units, he did wipe out uh, two of the uh, Reavers there. And um, not much else happened, just continuing to kind of gather some points off of holding various different objectives here and there. Sadly, my opponent had to go um, halfway through my turn three, so I tried to focus as much as I could on just gaining some additional points to make up 
the uh, the difference between us. But uh, I just didn't have enough shots, and I was just a little bit out of position for uh, some of the uh, cards that I had. So it did end up in a Tiernid victory by one point, so it was 5-4. to four. Um, But overall, it was a great game. Uh, I think if it would have been played out to the fullest, I think I could have uh, cleaned up a lot more bugs, and the cards are starting to turn in my favor, so I think I could have uh, gained a lot more points there. But you never know. Uh, it ended the way it ended. So um, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief kind of uh, battle report. Uh, hopefully I can get some more before the holidays, but there's a good chance that a lot of the holidays will be focused on um, family stuff, so uh, I don't know if I'll get much out. But if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. I'm sorry, and uh, thanks for your patience. So happy holidays, guys, if I don't speak to you between now and then, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye now.